perfect. Oh, Kiki, this is guaranteed to take him on off my brother. I mean, she'd better be spending enough of her mom's money to make her happy. I'm all for Kiki being happy. What makes you think her affection can be bought? No, tell me. So this is where you take my daughter. Yeah, I mean, she likes it. I kind of fix up the place a little. Mm. A little primitive compared to the palatial dicks across the lawn, don't you think? Yeah, well, it gives us distance from all the crazies over at the mansion. No offense. Oh, none taken. Oddly enough, I passed all of the tests. Huh. So, the minute I move in, to have a little bonding time with my only born, you run away with her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ava mentioned something about that. It's funny, you guys are very similar. It's probably why it was so easy for you to get back together after such a long time. And so maybe if we can show her that we forgive each other, let bygones be bygones, maybe she will do the same for us. I can see why my daughter likes you. You're so bright and perceptive. Hey, why don't we rustle her up and we can fully embrace the quarter main lifestyle? We can go for a sail on the lake or, or play lawn croquet or go poke poor people with sticks. That's a joke, by the way. Well, technically, it's not a joke. It's, it's irony. But, hey, only the truth is funny. Yeah, um, the only problem is Kiki's not here. Where is she? She's helping her cousin. Oh, uh, please. I'm afraid your brother is too far gone to benefit from any help from Kiki. Yeah, well, I wasn't talking about Michael. Oh, hostile. I don't want to talk about my brother. You're the one who said that Kiki was helping her cousin. If you weren't talking about Michael, who were you talking about? Danny, Sam's kid. He's very sick. He could die. What my little nephew. My little nephew could die. Yeah, Kiki and Michael went to GH to get tested along with the rest of the family. No, I'm family. I'm family. Me. In fact, I'm, I'm probably the best chance this kid has at a match. His father was my... His father was my twin. I, I don't know exactly. Which, so nobody asks me. Nobody thinks to ask me. I don't know. Kid's life is at stake, and nobody asks me. I don't know. Nobody I... thinks that I'm capable of having compassion for a dying little child. You know what? I'm going to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital, and I'll prove them all wrong. <clears throat> I was just on my way out. I made a so-so. Stay a while. So, uh, uh, Dad, did you come to check out my new place? Looks comfy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, I'll, I'll give you a tour. No, I get it, I get it, I get the point. So, no tour. I got, I got to have a word with Mr. Franco. Hey, Morgan, why don't you, uh, find somewhere else to be? Why don't you take your girlfriend? Someplace nice. <laughs> on me. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got right. it. All right. See you later. Franco, sir. Whatever. So, uh... Fancy a skull? I mean, me, I, I get seasick. Have you met my associate, no. Mr. Butler? I have not. Hi. Haven't had the pleasure. Yeah, he works for me. And before that, he used to work for Jason. He was, uh... Jason hired him to protect Jocelyn and Carly when you were threatening their lives. <clears throat> I'm a, a changed man. I am. <laughs> not sure what he's what he's gonna do now to pass his time, now that I'm no longer a threat. You're not here to shoot me, are you? No, well, no one's getting shot. We're just here to make a point. Oh, conversation. Good, okay. Great, I'll tell you what. Uh, why don't you go first and I'll listen. If you lay a finger on anyone that I love, retribution is going to be swift and terrible. Uh, swift and terrible. Sounds almost biblical. Mind if I get some water? No. I just, uh... I want, to, I want to be really comfortable on a show. Show? Oh, great. I love a good show. Will it be puppets? I like puppets. No, no puppets. Okay. I got to say one thing about the quarter means they do know how to stock a fridge. At least I know my son's being well-fed. I'm just not happy 
with his housemates. Oh, well, I don't blame you. I mean, Monica's chilly and Tracy's a shrew. AJ, well, AJ's just an idiot. Then why put up with him? Why, why, don't you prefer to move out? No, I... Let me, let me I, rephrase I that. To. I would prefer you to move out <clears throat> so you can free some room for Kiki and Morgan. Uh, this is my ancestral home. There's a crypt out back. Maybe you can <laughs> move in there. <laughs> I'll be on trial any day, and then they'll just ship me off to Pentonville. Cannot wait. In the meantime, I would like to spend my last free remaining days with my daughter. I think that that's something you can understand. That sounds like a no to me, Sean. Let's just get on with the show. <sighs> Sean, Sean, okay. Let me talk. I just want to talk to him. Okay, Franco. I can have the movers here in ten minutes. Have you had enough? I'm good. I'm, I'm getting warmed up. Sean, how, how do you feel? I haven't even broken a sweat. Then by all means, let's get on with it. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh. 